L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté. While the Paris Climate Change Agreement that 196 countries signed in December of 2015 was a great accomplishment, climate scientists immediately pointed to the gaping hole in the agreement. That is, the lack of a practical plan for cutting greenhouse gases. Every country agreed we need to limit the rise of global temperature to less than 2 degrees C by adding net zero carbon dioxide to the atmosphere by 2060. But the proposals on the table now to get there revenue neutral escalating carbon tax, cap and trade, increased efficiency, behavior change, are only good for about 30 to at most 50% reduction. And that's only if they're very strictly enforced. Bring in the fan box. That's a long way from the 80 to 90% reduction required to meet the two degree rise limit. Worse than accomplishing too little, I believe the existing proposals will be politically impossible to implement anyway. We need a plan that is politically possible, a plan that will get the job done, and a plan so painless that the general public won't even notice it's being put to work. The hole in the ozone layer caused by chlorofluorocarbons wasn't fixed by giving up refrigeration and air conditioning. Acid rain caused by sulfur dioxide from power plants wasn't fixed by giving up electricity. Heavy smoke in Pittsburgh in the early 1900s wasn't solved by banning factories and trains. All these problems were solved through government action that focused on substitution, not giving things up. The same is true for climate change. We are not going to solve it by giving up using energy. We're going to solve it by substituting renewable energy for fossil fuel. My name is Don Gayton, and I'm a clean energy engineer from Nanaimo, BC, Canada. In this video, I'm going to present a workable plan to get the world off fossil fuels and allow us to still live an energy-rich life. A model I have found useful is the retirement model. We want to retire fossil fuels, just like we would all like to retire from work someday. If we invested about 10% of what we spend on energy today to build renewable energy systems, by the time it comes to fully retire fossil fuels in 2060, we will have enough renewable energy to continue the way we live without any reduction in lifestyle. The sun delivers an enormous amount of energy to the earth. If we could just capture one ten thousandth of the total, it would equal all the energy humans use currently. Put another way, a solar array 350 miles by 350 miles located close to the equator could supply all of our energy needs. So there's more than enough renewable energy available to give everyone on the planet an energy-rich lifestyle while not destroying the environment. However, while there is lots of renewable energy available, systems to capture it and make it useful to us are expensive to build, but once they're built, they're cheap to run and last an extremely long time. So the key to massive amounts of inexpensive renewable energy is massive amounts of inexpensive capital. What we need is a pension fund for fossil fuels. I call this the National Renewable Energy Fund. Here's how it would work. The tax of $20 a ton of CO2 is collected on all fossil fuels used within a country. This money is then used to provide long-term, 20-year, zero-interest loans for the express purpose of constructing projects that produce energy from renewables, like wind and solar, and those systems that support renewable energy, like transmission systems and storage systems. Note these are loans, not grants, so the money must be repaid. A 20-year loan would be repaid in 20 equal annual payments of 5% per year. This repaid money is then loaned out again for more renewable energy projects. The amount of money invested in renewable energy by a country is driven directly by the amount of fossil fuels that country uses. With this plan, renewable energy basically muscles out fossil fuels over time. By 2057, there is so much renewable energy being produced by projects funded by the National Renewable Energy Fund, there is simply no room in the energy mix for fossil fuels. Essentially, fossil fuels fund their own replacement. Here's a graph showing predicted annual loans over time, red being new loan money related to fossil fuel use, which we can see falls over time as fossil fuel use is reduced, and the blue loan money, which is recycled from repaid loans. The total money invested is more than enough to build renewable energy systems to supply us with all the energy we could want. This is all done with a simple $20 per ton carbon tax. $20 per ton equates to about one and a half cents per kilowatt hour of electricity, or about 20 cents a gallon of gas. So there you have it. A simple, painless plan that could be put in place tomorrow that would put us on the path to meeting the commitments made in Paris, and all while continuing to enjoy our energy-rich lifestyle. Please go to our website, www.notimpossibleplan.org, 
to find out more about the plan and also discover how you can get involved.